Hey, welcome back to Snicker Fly. Um, just hanging out with a new toy today. Got some uh, a new vice in from our friends over at Moonlit. Brandon was here doing a demo last weekend. Uh, told us a bunch about these things coming down the road and they finally showed up. So we're gonna go ahead and tie a bug on one. Looks like a pretty sweet rotary vice. Um, so we decided we'll just go ahead and tie one of our favorite bugs that utilize uh, a rotary vice and see how it goes. Live mic, if you hot mic. So it's got a lever, so you can make an adjustment on this side for your hook gap, and then the lever pulls down. Looks like it's holding the hook pretty sweet. Already pre-tied um, the pin and the bead. And we're just gonna do uh, one of our favorites, a burnt toast. So I've just got a little zero G and brown here. We just tie this in as a clump. I like the gap coming in here. It reminds me similar to other vices I've tied with. Renzetti, I've tied on forever. Has that same little gap to sneak in on, on a material. I like that. Little zero G in there. The back will just clump up and fold it back on itself for our tail. So this has a pedestal base. I've got it sitting down. I'm used to a mega base, and this one's pretty good. Seems like um, it's gonna work just fine. Has some dished out pockets on the bottom for beads and hooks, which is cool. And we'll mess with the rotary here in just a sec. So I've just got some leech lace, burnt toast. I like to fill in the body. Tie it in a loop like so, speed time purposes, which is the advantage of having the rotary. And uh, now that that's tied in, we'll just advance the front. The way I like to tie um, with the leech lace is two strands and I'll twist it. Let's tease it up with our dubbing brush. I like to actually wrap the last, or the bottom back wraps. So we'll just see what kind of clearance we have. Pulling and torquing on this. Pulling pretty good, it seems like it's holding up sweet. And then we'll test out the rotary right here at the head. I like to uh, kind of individually wrap that leech lace in the back half. And then I don't really necessarily rotary the whole fly, but when I get to the end of this little loop, it gets a little tougher to wrap, so I'll Utilize the rotary, pretty smooth here. Got a little bounce around on the base, but that's just because I have Goliath strength. I really torque on this leech lace when I put it together because you want this fly to last. But pretty smooth rotary. I'm torquing on this pretty good with this Semper 3 out, and it's holding. I'm not really a ballerina on the vice, of course. Everybody knows that, but it's pretty sweet. Rotary worked good. Hook stayed in line. I'm torquing on this pretty good, trying to get this hook to pop out. But these come in. Um, we just got our first batch in. I think we've got maybe half a dozen of them or something. They come in some cool ass colors. Red, um, purple, blue. We think, what else? Black, and green, uh, maybe. That green. How's it going, you guys? Good. Filming? Yeah, but that's all right. You don't have to be quiet on my account. So anyway, pretty sweet vice. Looks like it's got a sweet little sealed ball bearing in here. I can adjust the angle on this head if I want. Looks like I can replace heads right here. Um, haven't gone over the details a whole bunch on it with with Brandon and the guys, but looks like a pretty dang smooth vise. Got a little lock out here. And I think you're looking at $149.99 for pedestal, C-clamp, and vise.
Wow, 150 bucks. 150 bucks. Oh, so there's how we fix that. Also, it has a couple tensioners, which is rad. Ooh, look at that. I do like to have my vise so it'll rotate, but not rotate with every thread wrap. And those two tensioners right there, polymer tensioners are sweet. Yeah, looks great. Flip it back, just the opposite of some of the others, but seems to hold a hook real nice. Um, we have these in stock. Of course, we'll probably get them on the site soon. Yeah, cool, nice vise. The Moonlit Rotary Vice at 149. Treat yourself for Easter.